Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've just posted a video where Microsoft had announced yesterday that they are making the most important features of Edge significantly faster, thanks to WebUI 2. And that video and a video I posted on the new Edge settings in Edge Canary, also using WebUI 2, will be linked down below in the Edge screen if you'd like some more information. Now, this new redesign, though, seems to be making a change that could affect how you access the clear browsing data menu and dialog to clear your cookies, cached images, and other data. Now, currently in the stable version of Microsoft Edge, if we use Control Shift and Delete, what this does is it is the shortcut to open up the delete browsing data. So it takes you directly to the dialog where you, as mentioned, can um, choose which data you want to be deleted from your browsing history. But if we head over to Edge Canary, where, as mentioned, all of those uh, setting changes are taking place with the new Web UI 2 and the new layout, go check the video out for more information. If we use Control Shift and Delete, what it does is it doesn't take you direct to the clear browsing data dialog and menu. It opens up the profiles where you've got some of your top settings here at the top. And included in that is clear browsing data. So now you've got to go an extra step. Then you click on this and then we can see, um, then you can delete your browsing data and even this dialog menu has been upgraded with WebUI 2, as you can see, to match the look and feel of the new settings in Edge Canary, currently sitting on version 135. So it's just an extra step. So no reason why Microsoft has made this change. This has been spotted in Edge Canary, and possibly it will also be the same in Edge Dev, where these settings are already present. So Control shift delete opens up your profiles with those top settings. So just one extra step. But I suppose due to the fact that this is more responsive and I have actually have fiddled around a little bit and um, with this these new settings in WebUI 2 in Canary and I do feel it is quite more responsive than fiddling around in the settings uh, in the stable version. So taking that into consideration, maybe this is a small price to pay. If you were using that control shift and delete shortcut to access your clear browsing data, then maybe this is just a small kind of price to pay. But at the end of the day, if you are using that shortcut in the stable version, just letting you know that that could all be set to change in an up and coming release of the, the uh, Edge browser. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.